Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and this very last part of the experience of knots and that is the rope. Okay, what I suggest first of all before we get going is that when you carry a rope get you a good I would say between a 9 and 10 millimeter uh, diameter cord um, and um, and get about 25 feet is a good now I'm trying to do the calculation 25 uh, 25 divided by three that's about uh, uh, um, about the uh, in meters um, and for some reason what's that six meters I think is what it is so what I did is I just measured it out that's about six feet uh, which is one meter 83 okay and so that is times six and that's what I, that's basically what you come up with um, uh, so that's what I was just you carry with you and with that you can always you always have a good solid rope with you Something else important to get yourself a good quality rope. You know, you don't need a mountaineering rope You don't need something that's gonna that's gonna stretch. You need something that's gonna be uh, um, Pretty stiff like a you know, like a repelling rope. Uh, some people carry the the US Army uh, 120 foot rope this kind of stuff. I, I think it's a little bit too thick. Okay, and uh, that's, that's not necessarily what you want what you need um, like I said, this right here is about a about a, a nine to to um, a ten meter woven nylon rope right here, uh, and uh, and it's almost like a lasso rope, but it's not as stiff. And uh, with this right here, carry it with you, and you can use it for so many things, especially an emergency or like I said, if you want to drag up some uh, some stuff or you need to tie something down, something like that. It's good to have these kind of things around with you. And right now, I'm trying to unravel it because. Uh, um, this is not the first time I've made this portion of the video. I just had my vi my my neighbor who came along, and uh, she uh, she and I discussed, talked for about the past I would say two hours. <laughs> We've been talking, so uh, um, hey, I'm a single guy. Huh? Anyway, so uh, um, but I'm going to show you a lot. Another thing is people ask me quite often, um, and it's what do you do to store your rope and this kind of stuff. The first thing I would suggest is that, you know, you don't want to store your rope really tightly woven or something tightly wound up. You want to store it in a loose configuration somewhere it's dry out of the way of the sun to protect it because uh, the sun will destroy a rope. Huh? Um, and, um, uh, but what you want to do is you want to store it somewhere that's going to be dry. And if your rope is muddy or something like that, wash it off, okay? Get you some, just some, some water and run it through the water and uh, you don't need to use any detergents kind of stuff. You can brush it off if it's dry with dirt on it. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to you want to wash it off if you can, and then hang it up to let it dry in a good dry area, not damp. You know, out of the sun. You know, basically how you want to keep the rest of your gear. You know, and uh, you don't want to keep it in some a damp place because you know it will it will it will deteriorate and it won't be it won't be any good afterwards so what you want to do is you want to store it in a good dry spot and how i store my rope um is the way i store a lot of things i hang it up to store it you know uh, and i have a peg that i'll just loop it over and what i do is i take the rope i'll get a little bit of it right here and i will just go over like this right here on my arm this is the way i learned it growing up and then when I get to a certain a certain length of it, you can basically take it and um, you can wound the, the cord up like this right here a few times, okay, if you want to. And you can just store it up on the on the wall like that. Now there are other ways, of course, you can you can uh, store your rope. This is how I normally will store it right here. And then if I'm carrying it with me, I might put it inside of a cotton bag or something like that and put it inside my backpack. Uh, but if I want to, and I don't, I don't carry much of anything on the outside. The reason why is because I don't like looking like a gypsy. So <laughs> I don't like this stuff because you can lose stuff on the outside. This will get tangled up on every branch. So I would just sort of put it like this right here. I can get to it very quickly. I can pull it out and I have the rope if I need it to do any kind of projects or work, this kind of stuff. So this is how I would suggest you do it. Anyway, that's it um, for this little series right here of, of uh, knots. And I hope that you found this interesting. I also hope that uh, you enjoy these videos, and if you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below. Um, I uh, have a lot of things in my brain that I'm more than willing to share through these videos, and I hope that you all, if you you know, are getting something from it, okay? And uh, what I also find out these videos do is help me to remember things that I've I've learned, but have just sort of packed away in the back, and 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 they help. 
to bring this out. And, and, and that's, one, that's a good thing to keep your mind in the game also. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and these videos uh, of these knots from the Boy Scout Handbook. Bet you what they're from. And uh, if you have any questions, you can actually find Boy Scout Handbooks online. Any of them, all of them. They all have the same five or six knots in there that are requirements for um, um, advancement for young scouts. And, um, and, um, and you can look them up, this kind of stuff. Anyway, I want to thank you all for coming to my channel. And I ask you to please subscribe. Share with your friends and enemies. Leave me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And uh, if you have any questions, again, like I said, just throw them my way. Or if you have any critiques, let me know. I appreciate it. I, I take, uh, you know, I take the good and the bad together. And you can always check it out on my video, <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, you can look down through all my my catalog of videos. You'll find it in there somewhere. It's one that has Clint Eastwood on the front of it from the film, and that's because. Um, you know, there's a lot to learn in Scout, in, in, you know, in, 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 in across, across the world. I like learning and I enjoy sharing what I learn with people. And um, but there's no ways I'm an expert in everything. There's a few things I know a lot about. And uh, um, but I, what I do know, I definitely want to share with you. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a pleasant um, Easter. Or those of you here in Switzerland, French uh, pack and um Hope you enjoy your time with your family, and um, and if you are um, a Christian, hope you enjoy Easter um, um, with your family and, and, and your faith. And the rest of you, I hope you enjoy it also. <laughs> we all need one another. I want to thank you, and I hope you all have a good one. I'll talk to you very soon. Goodbye.